Ms. Boyle, you want to speak? Thank you. I didn't bring any props, so I just brought paper. <laughs> you want my gavel? <laughs> with pleasure. Um, I just want to also add a little bit about what we have done with the budget is to build in efficiencies over time. And much of the health care line item is always a growing line item, but in the situation with the schools, it's been a fairly insignificant amount of increase. That in turn has built savings for us that we've tried to reserve for other opportunities. Um, but really why I'm here is to kind of shed some good light on good investments that the district has made and the council has supported. Um, we've made them together as elected bodies and we have seen positive results in our schools. Many might ask, really, what exactly have our annual tax dollars afforded? Well, your commitment has made major investments in reading that's directly resulted in increases in both math and reading in our elementary level. So right now, we have 88% of our K-5 students in reading on or above grade level compared to 72% three years ago. Your commitment has provided students with greater access to technology through funds apportioned by the council, enabling 21st century skill development and targeted practice in math and language arts. Your commitment will provide a proven K-8 science program called GEMSNET that provides students with hands-on learning opportunities that will strengthen our science classes, improve our NECAP results, and eliminate the inequities across classrooms and schools. Now these are all issues that the, we've talked about through the years or our new initiatives that Dr. Thornton has brought forward. Some of them are very quick turnaround. Dr. Thornton realized we needed a better science program. He found a solution. It's in the budget. I think we all feel very strongly that the, uh, the more expedient we can be in raising assessment for students, the better off we all are as a community. Your commitment provides our teachers with support through new curriculum, technology, and training. Your commitment helps those kids who struggle at every level within our district with a number of innovative programs, including extending the day, the new Saturday school proposal, doubling up on learning time during the day. Your investments are enabling us to identify specific areas in which a student struggles and to provide solutions. Your investments have significantly improved our physical schools through the expansion at the elementary school to provide equitable learning spaces, new windows, doors, lighting, parking lot repairs, and roof repairs. In addition, substantial facility improvements have been made to Cumberland High, as we all know, but it did include the council's approval to put it forward as a bond referendum. At the high school, your investments helped create an art program that is growing in its offerings and producing spectacular, award-winning works of art. Your commitment created a 21st century language lab where our very own Patrick Sheehan, a Cumberland High School 2012 graduate, developed the skills to place first in the state in the Grand Concours French exam and 11th nationally. Your investment is resulting in highly competitive <coughs> graduates who are accepted into progressive college programs in electrical engineering, chemistry, computer science, and physics. In 2005, graduating students had only a single experience in a science lab during their entire high school career. Today, science labs are offered weekly over the course of three or four years. In addition, the high school will enact a new schedule to expand classes allowing additional coursework for students. Your commitment will also allow the district to offer our youngest students with a full day kindergarten program, increasing the amount of time to our youngest students spending learning to read, write, develop math and interpersonal skills from two and three quarters hours at present, bell to bell. So that includes taking their coats off, having a snack, zipping it up, and out the door they go, to a, bell, to a daily schedule with two hours of reading, an hour and a half of math, an hour of science and rotations through art, PE, library, music, lunch, recess. Your investment is helping us to attract new progressive results-oriented leadership at critical levels. I can't put into words the profound difference that a leadership change has made. Under new leadership, we are witnessing firsthand how quickly we can make very progressive improvements to a system ready for cha cha change and challenge. Finally, your money is wisely invested to develop a stronger, more progressive school system where all students can be successful. A school system that will attract additional families to our community. In April, 
the Brookings Institution issued a report that stated, in part, home values are $205,000 higher on average in neighborhoods with high scoring public schools versus schools with low scores. I'll send the link to the, the report because I actually found it to be pretty fascinating in that it also talked about zoning and how zoning has a huge impact on um, communities and school performance. There's a real direct correlation between that. It also speaks to a topic that the mayor's been talking about very frequently, the human capital. And I think uh, all of this ties very neatly together. Your investment will enable the townspeople to protect one of their biggest personal investments, the value of their home. As I believe the mayor iterated, you can't sell a home in Central Falls anymore. We don't want to be there. We want to be with a home that's $205,000 higher than those with lower um, scores. It will also to help, help to develop a job, of, job pool of well-educated individuals that begin, can begin to breathe life into our local and state economies. Our commitment <coughs> to the people of Cumberland is to utilize these investments wisely to provide dramatic increases in results across the board. The issue I think we're all facing here is the urgency in which we want these improvements. With recent leadership changes, new collaboration between town and school, a belief in transparency, I think we can make that a reality, but only if we do it together. I first want to thank the mayor for your bold statements in support of our schools. From my heart, I greatly appreciate it, and I think it's, um, it's, it's a new opportunity for all of us to work together and and really make Cumberland a town that we can be incredibly proud of. And I would like to ask you all to support the, the mayor's budget. Thank you. Thank you.